the very last thing that we're going to do is tie our blue barrel system into the downspout. This is the crux of the whole installation and the last thing that we do. Your blue barrel rain kit includes a downspout connection that looks about like this. It comes with detailed instructions from the manufacturer. And one thing that's specified is that you want to install it so that it is completely level with the top of your barrel. In the end, you will have a hose, an inlet hose, that runs between your downspout adapter and the barrel. And if you keep that hose completely level, this piece will handle in inflow as well as overflow. So the way that it works is that we cut the downspout and install it in the right spot. Water flows down your downspout and fills this upper chamber. When the water's in this chamber, it flows through the hose to fill your barrels, till your barrels fill, at which point the hose itself backs up and this chamber continues to fill until the water level reaches above this lip here and then the water flows down through the normal course of your downspout. The benefit to this is that you don't have to change your existing drainage system at all. You can sort of just tie right into it. Now that said, we're going to do something a little different in this case. And this is a demonstration that every system requires just a little bit of customization. And that's a good thing. You can build your system to really fit you. In many cases, a blue barrel system will be built right up against the side of a building. So it makes for a really short span between the downspout connector and the barrels. In this case, because we've left a walking corridor, we're actually going to install the piece higher up and have the hose arch down like this so that we keep a clear walkway. Now one thing to note is that by doing this, we're going to lose the overflow function of, of this downspout adapter. Water will still get to the barrels just the way it's supposed to, but instead of backing up the hose, when the barrels fill, the water is actually going to come out the vents before it has a chance to rise back up the hose and overflow. So we have to mitigate for that in this case. Either we can allow our vents to be the overflows, um, or we can drill an, a second overflow port in the barrel somewhere near the top and connect a hose to that so that we can direct that overflow where we want it. With the downspout diverter in place, I'm just going to test the hose and see with the curvature of the hose where it wants to end up on the barrel. And it looks like it's going to give me plenty of play. So I'm going to put my inlet connection right about here. I'm just going to mark it with a little X. Now your downspout connector kit includes the right size drill bit to drill the same size hole in your barrel as you have up in the downspout diverter. Wash away the plastic trailings. And then you take the grommet and fit it right in there. And the grommet always feels like it's going to be too big until you have it aligned just right. There we go. And that's going to create a nice watertight inlet. Now my hose is long, but instead of cutting it, I'm just going to insert it so that it hangs down towards the middle of the barrel. That creates a little bit of a calming effect when the water releases into the tank. Need just a little bit more length here. And the other end is going to go into the diverter. We've included with your kit a little piece of mesh, and that's actually going to serve a leaf catching function. So any leaves or debris that come off of your rooftop are going to be prevented from going into your system with this mesh. You kind of just get it in as far as you can. Next time it rains, we're going to get water through the downspout diverter, through the hose, and into our blue barrel system. The water will fall into the first barrel all the way down into the um under plumbing, and all barrels will fill at the same time, maintaining a level. As soon as we have even a gallon of water in our system, we're going to be able to access that water through our hose spigot outlet and also through our secondary drip connection.